Hi everybody, welcome Tammy from Tammy's Homestead and Crafts. Today we are in my YouTube corner. Uh, gonna come to you from here. Yeah, I really wanted to do an outside video today. I just don't have enough time to do the video that I want to do. So maybe this weekend I'll be able to get that uh, videoed for you guys for next week, hopefully. We are starting to get some nice weather and I'm really itching to get outside, but with everything going on, I'm not able to get out there to do what I want to do. And uh, actually videoing and doing what I want to do takes like three times longer than I than it should if I was to just get into the garden and start doing all the work that I need to do. It just takes so much longer when I video what I'm doing. So. Uh, I want to actually, we're going to talk about where I was last weekend um, and some of the new, I got an FO guys. Yeah, it's done. And um, some acquisitions and where we are with all of our knitting projects. So if that is something that interests you, stick around. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to welcome all of you to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who this may be the very first time you've been to my channel, thank you. I hope you enjoy the content. For those of you who have been here from the beginning supporting me uh, weekly, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so, so much. And also, as a quick reminder, I still have the giveaway open for you guys to uh, register for my two year, um, two year anniversary giveaway that I'm doing. My cutoff date is April 27th. I will pull names on April 28th. So you still have a whole after this video because today is April 16th like to try to say that in the beginning. Sometimes I don't say it till all the way to the end. So you still have one whole week to uh, comment on episode 31, which is the two year uh, episode that I have and get registered for the giveaway. All the information will be linked below. So with that said, let's get into our podcast. Okay, so usually with these podcasts, I usually talk about what is new into the website. I don't have anything, guys. I have been really uh, not sewing much. I've had some custom orders here and there, sewing this, sewing that, but I haven't really been doing a whole lot of sewing, sewing. Um, I have to get some done. I have to, once this airs, like Monday, Tuesday of the 22nd, I have to ship uh, bags to the next trunk show that I'm doing, which I'll talk about that in the life section. But yeah, I really haven't been doing a whole lot of sewing. Got to get into it. I have a bunch of things that I have to start making and get caught up on. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've just been busy doing trunk shows and they've been fun. Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll talk about the trunk shows and everything that's going on with them in the where to find me section of the podcast. So, okay. So now I guess we're going to talk about our finished object. I got my Easy V sweater done. And I think I'm going to flip it around so that I can look at myself and show what I see. Because... I video where I just see my camera and I don't see what's going on. But when I flip it, everything is backwards in my room and I don't like the look of that. But I want to be able to, well, maybe I'll just stand up and hope that you guys are getting everything. I guess when I edit it, I can always um, do another show of that. But my Easy V sweater, I love it. It turned out I love the I-cord that they had put on all of the collars and the sleeves. Um, I ended up doing a ribbing on the bottom of my sweater, and I really like that. Um, mine is a lot longer than uh, you were supposed to make. You're only supposed to go 15 inches from underneath the arms. And I probably want a good 4 inches past that because I wanted it a longer sweater for me. 
Um, I just got it off the needles and just put it on. So it hasn't even been blocked and it actually fits really, really nice. I don't really need to stretch it out any. I don't think, I mean, I, I like the fit of it. I will be making some more of these sweaters. I really absolutely love it and I, it's very comfortable. I right now have a tank top underneath it. Um, I don't have to. It's just that's what I had on and I just took off the shirt that I had on and with the tank top under it and I just stuck this on. Um, but yeah, I love this. I think I, I'm very, very happy with it. The second sweater that I've made and it actually fits um, really well. With making the changes that I've made on it. I'm really happy that it fits really well, but I have, I did try it on a lot while I was making it so that it, you know, to measure it and everything like that. But yeah, I ended up on the ribbing on the bottom. I did a super stretchy bind off so that it would definitely stretch and it would not be tight. Um, cause I definitely didn't want it to be a tight bind off and my point was to get it to go straight down. I didn't want it to curve in like a lot of my bind offs, I, I am a very tight knitter anyways. And when I bind off, I tend to bind off even tighter, even as loose as I try to be, I tend to be tighter at my bind off. So, um, I went and searched a super stretchy bind off to get that, um, so that it would lay nice and straight and flat. And I'll actually take a picture of it and put it in here somewhere, one of these spots, uh, to be able to let you guys see what it looks like um, down, you know, just flat on the ground so that you can see the whole thing. And maybe I'll have my, my husband's not a very good picture taker. So maybe, you know, maybe I'll have one of my friends take a picture of me with my sweater on so that you don't necessarily need to see my head. I just want to be able to show you the sweater and how it looks on. Um, but yeah, so I got this done. Very, very happy with it. Definitely going to be casting on another one of these. Got some gorgeous yarn this weekend that I've already got another one thinking about and I'm also and I might end up having two on the needles at the same time I do now have two sets of number five knitting needles interchangeables so I could have two of them going and I think I have two of the longest cords that I could easily um definitely have these going at the same time but I really want to do a cotton one with my rainbow color of sock cotton yarn that I have. And then I also, like I said, got some yarn this weekend that I was already picking out to do an easy V. And I think I will be doing quite a number of these. Also, um, there is some t-shirts or tank tops that uh, people have brought to my attention that I think I might want to try to do a tank top. I don't know. Some of the tank tops seem to have really low here and I don't like that. Um, so yeah, we'll see what's going to go on with that. I mean, you can always, you know, cut those up a little bit if you need to, but whatever, we'll see. But very, very happy with my easy V, not my easy V, my rocket tee that I got done. So that is my one and only finished object, but so happy to get it off the needles because it's now getting nice where I can actually wear it. And I am so thrilled to be able to start wearing it. Okay, so let's talk about the other knitting that I have going on. Um, I didn't get any knitting done on my daily knit shawl, so I'm not even going to show it. Same place it was last week when I podcasted. Didn't get any time to actually knit on it whatsoever. Um, I'm going to be two months behind here really, really soon if I do not step up and start really working on that. But I have so many other projects that I just want to get done that I just haven't wanted to, to do that. And it stays in my office and it's something that I do when I'm in meetings and They've been having me work a lot that I don't have a lot of meetings, so I'm not really getting any time to do that in the morning as well. Okay, so let's go to my Easy V sweater. Um, didn't get, I don't think I got a whole lot done on this since the podcast. Now, just a couple of rounds. I really wanted to get this off the needle, so I really worked on this. Um, 
And like I said, this is not something that I'm going to be wearing anytime soon. So it's okay that it sits and I only get a couple of rounds done on it here and there. This is definitely a very easy knit that if I go to, to somewhere or just go out in the backyard to sit, maybe to have a fire or do anything like that, I can just sit and it's just knitting in the round. It's nothing fancy. And even when I cast on for my sleeves, it's just knitting in the round for quite a while with the sleeves. And then you do the color work down a little bit ways of the sleeves. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to get a good portion of the body done. Then I'm going to cast on and do both the sleeves and get them done because I want to have my sleeves done and then test my body to see where the length is for my body because um, I've had, you know, a couple of people have suggested when you are doing a sweater that has long sleeves or whatever, do not bind off your body until you've got your sleeves done and then retry it on because putting the sleeves on brings the body up a little bit of where it's going and it might not fit where you want it to fit. Um, I'm definitely probably going to go longer on the body with this than it says in the pattern just because I like the length of a longer sweater. But yeah, um, I'm still working on it, just only getting a couple of rounds a week done on it. Uh, hopefully, you know, the next couple of podcasts might be some outdoor podcasts or different things that I won't show knitting for a couple of weeks and maybe I'll have some actual progress on my knitting. Um, I mean, I am getting stuff done. It's just, this was a big, sorry, this was a big thing to get done and I really wanted to get it done. So that was where I'm at with that. Um, my Tunisian cowl, I have been trying to sit down on the weekends because I can sit and have my coffee downstairs and I've been trying to sit down and do a couple of extra rows on this every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday when I just sit down to do my, um, just have my coffee. Cause I, this is, I'm not, I don't have to think about this right now. I've got this pattern memorized. Now when I go to do the ribbing, I'll have to think how I do the ribbing again. I'll probably have to watch a video to figure out or maybe read the directions on the pattern to figure out how to do the um, ribbing again to finish it off. And then it's just uh, binding it together to make it match. And then I will have this one done. It is almost there. I think I'm at um, seven and a half and I have to be at nine. I'm getting very close to being where I need to be to start my I'm at seven and I need to be nine. So I've got two more inches of the um, Tunisian to be able to do before I can start my ribbing. And that'll be a nice uh, long, uh, a nice big, you'll be able to squish it up and to have a nice decent sized cowl. It won't be too, too big, but I don't, a lot of times I don't like the ones that are just the length that you need because then it feels like you can't, uh, push it down into your coat to kind of keep the warmth into your body. So, um, yeah, so that's why I'm going definitely with the nine inches. And then you had a two inch ribbing on top of that. And so it'll be nine, 10, 11, 13, 14 inches of a cowl, which I think is a decent size cowl length that you could be able to, um, have some gathering section with that. So that's going good. Got a couple of rows done on that. Like I said, I really should put markers in, in this, but I always think that, oh, I'll get it done because it really doesn't take that long to do a row. And it really doesn't. Um, it's just, I don't know. I'm just not getting there. Okay, so my third project is my Stormy Sky Shawl. Um... I got quite a bit of this done this weekend on here. I'm getting quite a ways on that. Um, it's going to be, I think, quite a big airy shawl. Um, although it is taking, eh, it's really not taking the yarn faster than I thought it was going to. So that I think this is gonna end up being quite a big shawl. 
I'm not big on big shawls, but I'm going to probably use most of this skein of yarn. If I don't, and there's enough left over, I'll have, I'll put it aside to put it into my um, daily shawl. But yeah, I want to be able to get, I know the size shawls that I really like, and it's the my friendship shawl that I made was the one that I really liked the length of that. So this is just a repeat of um, rounds. So you do a stockinette here, and then you do drop stitch, do stockinette, then you do lace, then you do, you know, the stockinette again. You can easily end with the stockinette stitch, not have to do that lace. So it's just a repeat of the four rows. Um, I can repeat it as many times or as little few times as I want. So, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to be a nice airy shawl. Maybe the bigger, it'll be a nice spring summer type shawl because being that it's so airy it'll just give a little bit of warmth um but if it's that big you can definitely wrap it around multiple times and use it for really warmth in the winter time but um yeah just have that in one of my my little pig bag my little wristlet bag that i have um i tend to put my shawls in those they hook down pretty easy and um i just it's a one skein thing and I can just go to town on that. So that is all of my projects that I have going. So let's talk about our acquisitions that we got. Cause we got a couple this past weekend and they are gorgeous. Okay. So this past weekend on the 20th, no, the 13th. <laughs> this weekend's the 20th. On the 13th. So last weekend, the 13th, I was at um, the Artful Yarn in uh, Chagrin Falls, Ohio for my trunk show. I actually went to the store on the 13th to sit with them and meet all of the people that came in. Uh, I thank so many of you for coming in and supporting me that day. And for those of you that sat and knit with me, uh, while I was there for the day. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. And um, I just enjoyed doing that. And it looks like we're going to be doing another trunk show at her um, yarn store again in September. So looking forward to that. But um, she has a couple of, um, she has two hand dyed local yarns in her store. But one of them was uh, sold out. But the other one was there, and it is Dye Mad, yarn, Dye Mad Yarns. There is the decal, or her logo. And this color was Lake Erie. And, you know, I had to get this because we live right off of Lake Erie. We have Presque Isle right down the road from us, so... You know, when I saw this, I was like, oh, Lake Erie, I absolutely love it. You know, I mean, I went right over to those colors and was looking at those colors and absolutely love the colors. Um, they had Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Superior. She had all the lakes. Um, and I was trying to match a couple of the lakes together, but I didn't think I wanted when I put it together in my mind to use these for an, uh, another rocket tee, it was going to be striped very similar to the colors that I had. And I thought, mm, I don't want that. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So it was, I don't mind it being the same, in the same color family. I just didn't want it to look almost like the exact same color yarn that I was, that I already used. Um, so then I found um Emma's yarn and this is in your dreams and it is now they're both a variegated but I think I'm going to stripe them out and put these like this every other stripe so I think in some spots they're going to be very um they'll blend 
But then in other spots, they will pop being that you have the darker blue with the more of a greeny, tealy color. Um, so this is going to be the next uh, Rocket Tea that I end up doing, one of them. But um, yeah, I absolutely loved both of these, thought they were gorgeous, and was seeing in my vision a Rocket Tea striped. So these were the two new skeins of yarn that I got. Absolutely love them. Um, but that was all I got. I didn't get, I didn't go to crazy. There was a couple other ones I could have gotten, but I didn't. I kept it to two. I try to keep it to about two to three skeins of yarn when I go places just because I'm going to a bunch of different stores and I want to always make sure that I can support them as best I can while I'm there. Um, so yeah, I try to at least get a couple of skeins of yarn when I'm at each of my stores that I go to. But that was all I bought. So those are all of the acquisitions. I have nothing else. Um, none of my monthly colorways are here yet for April. They should be coming, getting notifications that they're being shipped. So those should be coming. And um, yeah, when they come, I'll just let you know. So, okay, let's talk about where we were and where we're going to be for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so last week, as I said, we were at uh, the Artful Yarn, doing a trunk show there. Um, it, it finished up on April 13th. Thank you for welcoming me into your store and agreeing to do the trunk show for me. I absolutely am so thankful that uh, you were willing to do that for me and being able to meet all of your employees. Well, I don't know if I met all of your employees. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Um, I don't know how many employees you had. I met four of the people that work in your uh, in your store and it was so lovely to meet all of you. So lovely to sit and knit and get to know each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to allow me to sell my bags in your store. I really, really appreciate it. So now for the upcoming week. So we are going into, today is March 20, or March. When this airs, it'll be April 21st. This next coming Saturday is April 27th, and that is local yarn store day. Okay, so... April 27th, we are going to be at Maggie Valley Yarn Company in Ma Maggie Valley, North Carolina. She is going to have a trunk show for me starting April 27th and going through May 12th. May 7th through, I think it's May 7th through the 12th. I will definitely put the dates of the uh, yarn crawl on there. It is the Western North Carolina yarn crawl that they have going on um, in uh, North Carolina during that time. It's the week before Mother's Day that they have it going. Um, so that is uh, where my bags will be for the month of, well, the end of April and the first of May. May 11th here in Pennsylvania, for me locally, I will be personally at um, the Mom's Market in um, Edinburgh, PA, at Goodell's Garden. I will be at their facility for the day. I will put, um, I believe it runs from 11 to 5. I will put the time on the bottom of it. And of course, all of the information for the yarn crawls where I'm going to be will be linked below in the description. So if you guys are looking for getting information on those, I will put the websites for those places along with putting them there usually on my website as well and making sure that they are updated on the website where I'm going to be so that if you are on my website, you can see where we are going to be. Um, but those are the next coming up places for the end of April and the 1st of May. Then I don't start any other shows until the second week of June. And those are a local uh, show here for me as well in um, at the Bayfront 
8th and Bayfront. It's a local leaf market. It's just a, um, they put it in the park and you can just set your tent up and be in the park for all of these uh, local businesses that they get to go in the park there. But, um, and again, that information will be linked down below, the times and the, and the date of those. Each day that I do those, they will also be on my website, so every one of them will be linked out onto the website, but they will all be um, on linked down below as well the week before I'm going to be there. But, guys, I don't really have much more to talk about. I have... Hopefully, the next time I do a knitting podcast, I will have a ton of bags to show you. I got so much beautiful uh, fabric in. A week ago, I am itching to get sewing on some of those bags and get them done. So that is the next project that I am going to start doing is to get some of the bags done. Like I said, once I ship stuff out on Monday, Tuesday for North Carolina. I have two full weeks before I have anything going on before I have to be anywhere that I can start getting a bunch of bags made uh, for the coming shows that I have coming up as well. Um, we are getting a couple of more trunk shows set on the books, which is so much fun. I enjoy doing those as well as, um, yeah, everything else. It's just trying to get everything done and the three trunk shows that I have going on at the exact same time is I just need to ramp up right now to try to make sure that I get all of my sewing done in advance so that I can have enough bags for all of these different places to put a couple at each, you know, a couple of each design in all of these places so that everybody can get see the uh, fabric that I have. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. Um, I think it's going to be kind of a short one. I don't have a lot to talk about. I was just really excited to have my, uh, rocket tee done so that I can show this off. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.